Well, good morning, friends. Thanks for joining us for Kids Worship Online. I'm so glad that you've joined us for part two. We are in the book of Psalms, which is in the Old Testament. We learned that last week. Or maybe you already knew that, which is great. We're gonna use our little packet and we're gonna read the psalm together and talk about what that psalm means. But first, let's start with prayer. You ready? One, two, three. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for who you are, for what you do in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the Bible and what it teaches us and how we can have a clean heart after you. Be with us today. Help us to glorify you. Amen. All right, my friends, hopefully you spent time last week on the first psalm that we looked at, which was Psalm 8. This week we're in Psalm 15, another psalm of David. And I'm going to read it for us. It's in your Bible. You can look it up in your Bible, but it's also on our in our packet. So let me read it for us. Lord, who can live in your sacred tent? Who can stay on your holy mountain? Anyone who lives without blame and does what is right. They speak the truth from their heart. They don't tell lies about other people. They don't do wrong to their neighbors. They don't say anything bad about them. They hate evil people, but they honor those who respect for the Lord. They keep their promises even when it hurts. They don't change their mind. They lend their money to the poor without charging interest. They don't accept money to harm those who aren't guilty. Anyone who lives like that will always be secure. Wow, there is a lot in that psalm, and hopefully you can spend some time with the family unpacking what that is. Because in my few minutes of sharing with you, I can't unpack all that is written there. But there's some really neat things. And one thing I want you to think about is to pull one verse out that really stood out to you. And the verse that I thought stood out to me was verse 2. The little 2. Anyone who lives without blame and does what is right, they speak the truth from their heart. So here's my big heart for today. So speaking truth from their heart... When we have Jesus in our hearts, we can know what truth is and we can speak about that. So when we do, here's my heart right here, and the light reflects off of it, like Jesus is the light, and show others our light of Jesus. And so when it says they speak truth from their heart, think about the word truth. It's what is true, right? What is noble, what is doing what is right, the right thing, be, being obedient to God. Be obedient to your parents or your grandparents, listening for instructions from your teachers. And so God is challenging us to speak what is truth. Here's our heart today. We can speak truth, we can speak love, because God is holy. In the verse before that, it talks about who can stay on your holy mountain. So we learned last week about how God is majestic, how He is holy. And that's a really neat part because it shows the character of God and who we're worshiping. God is, is huge, right? Bigger than the whole wide world. God created the whole wide world. And so it's really important that we understand how we can praise God and what we can do. And we can keep our promises even when it hurts. So if we tell someone we're going to do something, we need to follow through and do it. So this is Psalm 15. Take some time on your own to read it and do the next couple pages. And there's some different pages that you can do. This one, it talks about, do you have Jesus in your heart? If you don't, ask a parent or grandparent and talk about what that means. If you do, then you know that you are shining for Jesus. And that's a really cool thing. I'm really proud of you. And we can be bright in this world that's kind of sad right now without hope. We can shine and be bright and be encourager in this world. So we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.